In this video, I plan on heading back to PvP to test out my Platteo Rex in combat. However, I also have two very good back-to-back -back raids, both with very cool creatures, one of them being Utyrannus and the other one being Radivate. Both raids had some shocking results, with one of them at the end having some seriously high damage. You're gonna have to stick around to see what that damage was. Before we get into all that, I'm gonna try to get my Magna Raptor to level 29. So. Uh, I've faced um, a couple Magna Raptors and they're actually very, very dangerous to deal with. I'm only just now realizing how, how bad it is to be at the receiving end of this thing. Uh, receiving end of this thing. So that's exactly what I want to do. I've saved up a bunch of Irritator DNA. Thank you to uh, everybody in Dragon's Legion for giving me uh, Irritator DNA. Much appreciated. So. Uh, with that being said, I can start my fusion, and please be good. Okay, 15, 20, 20, 10. Okay, that's, that's good, 120. Oof, so I need 60 more DNA. I'm running low on Allodrigas. Um, speaking of Apex fusions, I can actually get my Platio Rex leveled up as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, the event helped me get some Platio Spikosaurus, and I also darted a lot more Platiosaurus to uh, just collect some DNA. Got some pretty good fusions. And now, with that being said, I can get a level 27 Platio Rex. Oh yeah, so I'm going to be saving that out for after the coin tournament ends. However, now I'm just going to jump into PvP and see how this monster does. Here we go. That son of a bitch annoys me sometimes. All right, uh, BRB, gonna record now. Coding. Oh, that's, yeah, that's how you spell it, coding. Shut up, you know what I mean. Fuck, am I recording? Okay, so, um, this is a raid that I planned out on the spot. We have Radovates here. I've never used, like, even seen Radovates in a raid. However, I have faced a few in the skill tournament. They're all right, I mean... Not really too bad unless you're, uh, you know, an opposing new Tyrannus. But we have Schoolosaurus here. Uh, or is this Schoolosuchus? I have no idea. Uh, that being said, Schoolosuchus is in the raid. And I just told West up he can use whatever because I had the contingency plan to use the Con Catalog. I want to see how Radivates looks at night. Eh, I mean, it doesn't really look that well. I like that animation though, it just detects a little bit. Magma Raptor doesn't really glow too much. Skulasaurus? Uh, it has the good uh, distraction. And you don't get bypassed, which is great. I think you die now, which is really good because the Raptor would really fuck us over. I could, if I wanted to, go for the rending instant move, but I just wanted to distract the boss as much as possible to not take that much damage at least 3200 is a good chunk i don't know if i actually hit the boss okay i do i hope so anyway okay i do all right so he's not going to be doing that much damage so i'm in a very bad mood two reasons one i have to do the tournament now and that's great because i keep getting walled and i can't climb because legendary isn't my strong suit anymore like it used to before omegas and two, I finished watching the Mega Mind 2 series, and oh boy, I had lots of fun. I've never watched a TV series that made me want to self-delete myself more. That's a story for another video. Also, Killer, if you're watching this, my friend Killer T, if you're watching this, fuck you for making me watch Gamera Super Monster while I was in pain and recovering from surgery. I hate this nighttime. Hold on, let me do my little trick. There we go. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so, for context, kill, I asked Killer uh, what he wanted me to do for 
or like what movies should I watch? And he recommended Gamera Super Monster and said it was one of the worst monster movies just ever. I love bad movies, so I took this up and wow, I was not only in, not only was I in physical pain from the, you know, the surgery, but I was also in excruciating mental pain from what I had to endure. Gamera Super Monster is the worst probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And that rivals Megamind 2 and a bunch of other movies because wow, I watched them back to back and that day I was in just serious pain, pain, pain. <laughs> from, like, like I said, from the surgery and just from watching both movies back to back. It's just terrible. It was like a porter potty caught in a cross, like in a war or something. It was just terrible. I, I don't know. I can't really come up with any good analogies at the moment because thinking about it now, I really don't like talking about it. So, I mean, you can watch Super Monster and get back to me. <laughs> when uh, you guys have seen it but i i would not recommend it in good faith to anyone as a troll yes but as uh, you know no, i'm not going to go up to anybody when they're talking like what movie should i watch i'm not going to say again or super monster apparently the heisei trilogy is very very good i wouldn't know because i haven't watched it and now i'm just scarred from gamera permanently because that was the first movie i watched i'm off topic uh raid right here so Again, Radovates is doing pretty good damage. It actually killed the boss, and you can actually kill the minion, which is great. Are we going to get this done in two turns? Or, I mean, we're not going to get it done now, but I think we might be able to get it done this turn because the boss is vulnerable. Well, he's not going to be vulnerable anymore. He's going to cleanse that stuff, but uh, I think we should be able to do good damage. If Radovates goes for the... What is it? The increase attack move, then we should be able to kill it with the rending takedown. Oh, that's a crit. Right of its dodge. Is that a 100% chance to dodge? I don't remember. I think it might be. Either 75 or 100. I love how we're all coin emoting though. <laughs> Even though it's not really like the best Omega to begin with. I do love that its dual peck is like a 2 times uh, counter, which is something we don't really see. Uh, I do hope we get that a little bit more. I mean, obviously, I just hope the creature isn't batshit broken, but you know what I mean. So this turn, I think we should be able to kill it, because it's vulnerable, and... How, wait, how did it get vulnerable? Oh, yeah, exposed weakness made it vulnerable, that makes sense. Okay. I'm actually surprised that we all managed to come up here on the fly, because I just messaged everyone, I was like, hey, join, right? And then Renegade wanted to leave call while I was streaming and just dip out, tried to spam him a couple thousand times until he said okay. Thank you all for joining, by the way. Does this kill him? I think it does like 8,000 damage or 10,000? 10, 10,000, okay, figured. But yeah, thank you to CRC, was up and Renegade for helping me out in this raid. I was just about to stream, but then realized, hey, wait, I need to do Radivate. So... You know, as you can see, Radovates gets the last kill. That was a fun raid, you know. No losses, first attempt. It was pretty fun. I will get back to streaming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's something in the code that says you can't draw a certain dino until, like, a, a certain number of matches. But I swear to God, it's been, like, eight or nine matches. And I have not even drawn my Platio Rex or Magnaraptor. And now I finally have. So... I'm now against P Tour, which, you know, it's all right against the Scootam at start. I am just worried that he's gonna have Thylos because they're pretty much everywhere. And every time I step foot in the arena, I just automatically assume they're gonna have Thylos, which is why I'm more. What's the word? Which is why I'm playing more defensive now than offensive. Usually I'm like super offensive in tourneys, and I don't really think straight, and then I just throw. But now I just play super defensive. I'm hoping he goes hunt here, but I'm confident he does because he hasn't swapped in the Thylos yet. And by now, I'm pretty sure 99.999% of people would have swapped Thylos. I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm doing slightly better in Arena. I have not really done it much ever since, you know, before I got Platy Rex. I was just kind of here and there getting my incubators, getting my boosts. But now I'm doing them for two reasons. I need the boosts and I also just want to try out PvP more because it gets boring once the tournament is over. However, he has gone to base of hunt, which is very good. 
He's gonna probably bring something out to kill me. I don't know if I should go for D cell. But on the off chance that he doesn't swap. There you go. Namingia, okay. I mean, I'm still shielded up like crazy. So he's not gonna do too much. However, I don't know if I should go for the rampage move. I kind of want to go for bulwarking impact just so I can set that up so I can go for, you know, cycle each move through. Because each one is a cooldown of two. I think this is where I'm going to regret the decision of not going for the D cell move. Is he even boosted? I don't even think he's that boosted. I have been wanting to record a Platyrex video to just showcase it off a little bit more because I don't really do that, do it that often. He get, kind of gets killed off. Thankfully, I can level it up. He is swapping back into Peeth Tour. Okay. So the bleed is gonna hurt me a little bit, but I think I heal up a thousand damage. I've seen some people say that, it's, it's crazy, I've seen some people on like Facebook groups say that Magnaraptor is not good and that they're deboosting it. I don't know how, like you've literally got to have like stupid brain in order to think that. Magnaraptor, in my opinion, is easily a top, I want to say as far as like a top three, top five dino, a top five dino minimum. It's debatable for top three. Ooh, if I get a crit, get it. Screw you! Let's go. Rampage. <laughs> this is... I, I, out of nowhere, Platy Rex just decides to start going off. I, this is another reason why I should probably level the damn thing up. Uh, also, Tiger Skin. That's cool. I haven't seen you in a while. That's actually one of the skins I regret not buying. But $40 for a skin is atrocious and it should be a crime against humanity. I do wish I did buy it though. It looks absolutely amazing. Rinnegan and everybody else who did buy it were really tempting me to get it, and I was so close. But yours truly still likes keeping his dignity and reputation. So I'm now stuck with the generic normal skin, which is fine. I mean, the normal skin is good and all, but Tiger skin is just way better. Uh, let me see. So I think. Okay, so he kills me right there. At least Giganix, I can bring Giganix back out. Uh, one thing is, he's going to bring out a Flipping Trap, and that's not really too good for me. But Ferocious Restore should do a good enough job. Okay, he's actually smart and determined to strike. That's not good, but I think I should still kill it regardless. I think so, right? Because it doesn't nerf the entire attack, it only nerfs... Oh, but we're about to see. But I'm 99% sure it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Good, good. Wait, do I get a... I think I get a crit right now. Yep. Okay. Oh, and he's vulnerable. That's... Okay. Nice little touch to it. Did you? That was a good fight. Okay. So, I'm now here uh, on the second attempt with CRC, the legend, and... What's up? Uh, the last one went pretty well. He had no deaths, but um, we're just redoing this because we want to see the rampage damage because we ended it way too quickly. I think it was like two or three turns. I think it was two turns. Um, yeah, we have the U Tyrannus. We have two Magna Raptors and Magna Pyrotator. So this is going to be pretty fun to, to see. Uh, the last one was really fun, and this one should be as well. Okay, so Gnarly has finally chosen Magna Impact. The last, uh, watch Utah not get a crit, because the last one he did get a crit. Okay, yeah, there's a 70% chance, but just, you know, there was a chance and he didn't get it there. Uh, Magna, let's see what Magna can do. Was it Magna do about like 10,000? Or was it like with Fierce Rampage? I think it might have been Fierce Rampage. It's almost 8,000 damage, that's a pretty respectable amount of damage. However, the real damage is about to come from these two. I'm just going to signal to CRC to heal because I don't want him using his big move on the boss in this early. 
I want to, because I got a plan, I want to use Flock of One on round two to make the boss a little bit more vulnerable. But we're just going to have to see. I think we can kill it on that same turn, which is great. We can kill him before he does any major damage to us. Look at that, 10,000. That's a pretty good amount of damage. Utah is going to like increase that a lot, though. We're going to do like 9,000 damage each. damage wow oh and he hits him not much okay so now this is where the main damage comes in where our goal is to try to finish the boss this turn and i think we could have done it i think i could have found a way to done it um on the first turn but i just wanted to draw it out a little longer so we can see what goes on gnarly's going for flock of one i don't know if i should also go for flock of one i don't really want to kill it this early but let's because it adds the vulnerability, and that's why I'm kind of debating. But I do 60%, whereas he doesn't really do. Oh no, we both do 60%, okay. I think in about a three hours, once I get my Irritator request, I can finally get Magnaraptor to level 29. This, however, is going to do a ton of damage, and I'm really interested to see how much Utah is about to do. That did 15,000. Plus the vulnerability, this is going to be a big hit, dude. <laughs> he completely eliminated the boss, just eviscerated the thing. Oh my god, damn near 30,000 damage. GG. Wow.